Yo, what's up everyone? Good evening and welcome to Frank is Speaking with Glory. My name is Glory Elijah. So, congratulations to the Big Brother Niger housemates tonight because they just won their wager. Remember last week was a disaster. Like they lost their wager last week and they were going to go on a hunger strike in the house, but because of Biggie's mercy and, you know, gracious heart right biggie was able to supply them with food and stuff by the way before i continue with this video if you're yet to subscribe to my channel guys it's totally and absolutely free all you have to do is click on the red subscribe button below to become a part of the family and if you want to be the first person to get a lot of my daily uploads i upload twice daily all you have to do is click on the white bell that is right beside the red subscribe button now back to the story the housemates won their wager tonight. Now, the task that Biggie gave to them was for them to do a musical concert. So, as usual, Shay was the compare or the MC, if you want to call it that, of the event. And the housemates, although they still all have horrible voices, aside Kathy and Jackie and Sadie and maybe esther somehow the rest of the housemates they really really sound horrible when they sing oh yes i i forgot to add that tasha is also a beautiful singer my god i never knew that tasha had such a beautiful voice yeah and she was able to project and get her words and her lyrics right and um although biggie did not enjoy the performance but then he gave them kudos all the same for just one reason now before i talk about that reason let's talk about omashola Omashola, for me, oh, in my frank opinion, no, oh, Omashola was the star of the night. Damn! Like, guys, Omashola became the Kanye West, the Lil Wayne of Niger, inside the Big Brother Niger house. Like, seriously, guys, Omashola was so, like, emotional when he was rapping or singing or whatever he was doing. And at the end of the day, like, it got me really, really mushed up. And I'm like, wow, this guy... If he were to be a musician, he would actually sing from his soul. Yeah. And he did really, really well. And the rest of the housemates, they really, really felt what he was singing about. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm trying to catch my breath because I was really, really wowed by Omashala's performance. And then Kathy. Kathy has such a beautiful voice. Yeah, and somehow I wished that Ella was still in the house to give us some of those her jazzy minor keys. You know, those are crazy. Don't mind me. I know about minor keys because I'm also a very good singer. Yes. They even asked me to sing because I don't want to show myself. All right, guys, back to the gist. So Omashala was the star of the night. Um, everybody got really really mushy while he was performing and um, after the whole performance Biggie asked the head of house that's Esther to rate their performance and Esther rated them rated their performance 90% and according to her um, they were they are not professional musicians but because they were able to put in their 110% into the task everybody was able to put in their best food and they came up with a wonderful performance in their own words yeah and Biggie said well said okay first time that Biggie will be agreeing with somebody like that wholeheartedly and then guys Biggie now reminded the housemates that last week they lost their wager so he asked them if they understand the reason why they lost their wager and according to Sadi and Shei they were able to recognize the fact that the housemates were not working in unity and that's to be expected you know um, people coming from different backgrounds different ideologies different idiosyncrasies everybody is different everybody is just coming from their own walk of life so they would find it really difficult to be taking instructions from someone that they've never even lived with before even had dealings with before so um this week i think the fear of losing a wager became the beginning of wisdom from the for the housemates so they had to work in unity they had to work together they had to help each other achieve that soul aim of coming up with a big brother niger musical for season four yes so biggie agreed with them and although he wasn't pleased with the music itself he wasn't pleased with the instrumentalist like those people hitting talking drum and shaking shakere and then like guys what the hell was jeff even blowing from the whistle 
<laughs> seriously guys i couldn't really understand the tune but then guys they all did so well mm -hmm. looking at the fact that they don't have any musical background yeah and biggie was actually more impressed about the fact that they were all able to work together in unity and as a team kudos to those guys kudos to the housemates yeah and um what else happened what else happened so guys automatically the housemates won their wager as you can see, I'm dressed as if I want to go partying. That's because I'm actually doing my own partying in my house. I am rejoicing for the housemates. I'm super excited for them. And um, Biggie still addressed different issues that still ongoing in the house. Last week when the housemates lost their wager, Biggie addressed the issue of them always talking about the viewers' perception about them in the house, um, about them being too conscious of the cameras in the house, about them always delaying and wasting time in trying to kit up and wear makeup and you know look good before coming to the diary room so biggie told them that those issues still need to be addressed and as a regard of that they would still receive a punishment tomorrow hmm who can guess what that punishment will be if you can guess what that punishment will be please hurry up and put it down in the comment section below because i myself i do not know so i need someone to whisper it into my ears you know i like just a lot all right guys so basically that's the amazing thing that happened um in tonight's big brother niger musical concert show and um i am super excited for the housemates yes they now have enough money to buy food and thankfully shayi can stop giving them military orders on when to eat and when not to eat my god like the way she can man the food there the guy they protect the fridge they protect the storeroom like say no seriously guys I'm absolutely absolutely excited for the housemates and so guys without much further ado i am not getting started i'm actually coming to the end of this video this episode of frankly speaking with glory so guys remember if you're yet to subscribe to my youtube channel hey oh yeah oh yeah begin day subscribe yes just click on the red subscribe button below and that's it you're not paying a dime this information I'm giving to you is free. This broadcast I'm giving to you is absolutely free. And guys, what do you think about my party outfit? Do you think I'm fit to join the Big Brother housemates in partying? Like, as you mean they were having a party tonight, what do you think? Do you think I'll be eligible to party with them? Mm hmm all right guys so just drop your comments below guys and remember this is a positive zone i reply your comments on time i engage my viewers i engage the commenters the engagement and interaction in my comment section is mind-blowing it's amazing and i always welcome you guys comments and your opinions and your suggestions and your contributions and everything and everything that you want to add to the show all right guys let me stop blabbing yeah i know i talk too much I'll see you guys tomorrow morning with more juice about what's happening tonight while you're asleep. Yeah? See you guys tomorrow. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Bye.